Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm doing these white glitter nails with a splash of colour on them and I'm using Madame Glam's white builder gel but first I'm using a base coat which is one of Madame Glam's coloured base coats. It's called Thailand and it is um, a, a sheer white base coat so I've put that on first and cured it and then I'm going in with the white builder gel and I'm putting a slip layer on and then I'm putting a bigger bead on just to cover that whole nail in this gel. So when I'm happy with that, I cure it in the lamp. Um, the builder gels do need 60 seconds and the base coat needs 30 seconds. So then after I'm happy with it, I'm using some glitter from Smiley's Glitter Store. It's called Crystal Rainbow and it's absolutely gorgeous. And it goes really nice over white. You can see all the colours in it. So I'm putting another coat of that base coat. And I'm leaving it wet this time and then I'm just patting the glitter into it from the tip going upwards so it's like a glitter fade. And then again when I'm happy with where all that glitter is I'm just putting it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Right so after the glitter is put on and it's all cured it needs covering up so just to seal it all in. So what I'm doing is using Pure Serenity by Madame Glam and that is the clear builder gel so I'm just putting some of that on over that glitter and then curing it. And then I'm going to wipe that off with alcohol which I don't do on camera but then I want a bit of colour on these nails and I didn't have any um, like jelly colours from Madame Glam that were really bright enough but I did have the alcohol inks so what I decided to do was mix a little bit of base coat or top coat I can't remember which one I used so I decided to mix that with some of the ink colour and see what that looked like and it turned out really well you can use it for painting on and stuff and it's really depending on how much ink you put in there it's really vibrant and it worked really well you do have to mix it in quite quickly before it dries um, you know on your palette and it will dry on your palette if you leave it you know long enough but I decided to use the pink and the blue ink and the purple ink and then I'm just um, drawing little lines, little sort of swooshy lines on top of that, on top of that nail and I had, um, like I said, I had already wiped off the tacky layer and I think I did buff the nail as well just so it was a good painting surface because it can be a bit difficult if you leave the gel shiny to paint over it you, your brush can slip on it and things so as I'm just getting back into it I didn't want any of that happening so it took me long enough anyway so when I've done all those swooshes each one gets um, cured for about 10 seconds in the lamp just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere and then after that I'm just using um, a top coat just to seal all that in so that nail was finished but then I decided to do a full set so I got the hand out and I was doing the other nails so like I did with the middle nail I used that Thailand base coat over all the nails I did a full coat over every nail and it is only really um, you know a thin base coat so it doesn't really give much coverage so I did do two coats on the pinky finger and then this finger is going to be a full nail of that glitter that crystal rainbow so I go in on the second base coat I didn't cure that one and I just patted the glitter all over that nail and then cured it and then on the pointer finger and the ring finger I'm doing a diagonal line of the base coat and leaving that wet and then I'm patting the glitter into that so when I'm happy with it and I've cleaned up any bits that have gone over I'm just going to cure that in the lamp and then I'm doing exactly the same with the pointer finger. And then I'm going in with a base coat 
over the top and I do this to help sort of seal the glitter in because especially if you're using chunky glitter a base coat is really thin so it does fall down between all the gaps that might be in the glitter and it's really good for helping to start seal it in, uh, sealing it in and then after that I'm going in with the clear builder gel again the pure serenity and I'm covering up that glitter on the pinky finger and then the bits that I've put glitter on on the ring and the pointer finger and then when I'm happy with that that gets cured in the lamp for 60 seconds So I did put it quite thick on the bits over the glitter because I do need to try and build this nail up a bit and so obviously it's thicker on the tip now but then I'm going in with the white builder gel from Madame Glam and I'm doing um, from the cuticle all the way to where that glitter starts, where that clear builder gel starts and I'm trying to make sure that I don't go over that diagonal line too much and I just use a, use, um, a brush just to clean it up clean up the line and then after that that gets cured in the lamp again for 60 seconds and I do that on both the fingers exactly the same the ring finger and the pointer finger and so after that I give the nails a file and a buff off camera all apart from that middle one because that's finished and then what I'm doing is I tried a bit of an experiment with the, with the inks I was really chuffed with that because it means that I can make sort of any intensity of jelly colours with all the inks that I've got just using base coat or top coat to mix in with it and then I thought well I have seen a lot of people on Instagram using um, silver glitter polish and adding jelly colours over the top of it I've got this silver glitter gel polish and it's called Chalet Session and that's from Madame Glam as well and I thought well I'll try that and then I'll put my sort of homemade jelly colour over the top and that worked really well but it also worked when I just mixed the silver glitter polish with the ink itself so what I'm doing on the nails I'm putting um, a diagonal line of the silver the chalet session first and then I'm actually mixing it with the pink ink and I love the way it, it was it made this absolutely gorgeous pink glitter gel polish so yeah I'm just doing a sort of diagonal line with that as well over the top of the silver and exactly the same on the pointer and the ring finger but the facing away from each other. So after I'm happy with, with that I do cure it um, and I cure it after each you know I cure it after the silver and then I cure it after the pink and then I'm going in with the top coat and I absolutely love the way that that glitter looks just you know the full glitter nail the pinky nail it was so hard to get photos of it after because it was just shining and it was so hard to actually get the glitter on you know get a good photo of it but yeah I was so happy with these nails I thought they looked really good and I was a bit gutted that I did it on my practice hand and not on my hands so yeah this is how they look in the end I hope you like them let me know what you think in the comments Please give this video a like if you liked it. Uh, do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. So don't forget to check out the description box where all the products that I use will be named and there'll be links to them all in there as well, as well as um, discount codes for you. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.